The man suspected of killing 18 and hurting more than a dozen others in two mass shootings is nowhere to be found today. Police say Robert Card opened fire on a restaurant as well as a bowling alley hosting youth night for a kids bowling league. This is a live look right now at that restaurant where he's accused of shooting multiple people before going on the run. The shooting is prompting multiple law enforcement agencies to join the manhunt. Right now, authorities haven't mentioned a possible motive, but we've learned from a defense official that Card, a veteran, was taken to a mental health facility back in July. He spent two weeks there and allegedly threatened to shoot up a National Guard facility in Maine. A shelter in place advisory is still in effect for several communities in the state as that manhunt continues. And today, survivors of the Club Q mass shooting are standing in solidarity with those victims and their families. Caradio News Channel 13's Andrea Herrera joins us after speaking with two of them today. Andrea. Nearly a year later, and emotions are extremely raw for those who survived the horrific nightclub shooting last November. Tonight, two Club Q survivors can't help but think of the victims and what they're going through. I'm devastated. And there's really no time to kind of have a mental break, just keep going and, and do what we can. Ed Sanders and Ashton Gablin were both shot multiple times inside of Club Q nightclub nearly a year ago. I know what they're feeling, but uh, it's just horrible. I can't imagine the scale and the children. Uh, it's, uh, it's just heartbreaking. They are struggling to understand how and why a gunman opened fire in a bowling alley and a bar in Lewiston, Maine. It's always populated locations. It's never, you know, minimal people. It's always somewhere where that person thinks that there's going to be a heavy population of people because they want to do the utmost damage. They are now reliving the fear and heartache all over again for those impacted by the main mass shooting. They say those who survived will be impacted forever. I'm triggered whenever I uh, go to a crowded place now and uh, I watch my back, I look for the exits, I uh, note whether security is present or not. So it's an extremely long process. I can't promise it's going to get any better, but there is the support and the help out there. And Sanders says what bothers him the most is knowing that situations like these will continue to happen. We need more, we need gun control reg legislation. We need uh, something to tie the mental uh, health issues to this effort. And uh, until we do that, it's gonna keep happening. Both Gavlin and Sanders are communicating with the victims in Maine through a website for mass shooting survivors. They say for them, talking with other survivors has been helpful in their journey to recovering. Reporting in the newsroom, Andrea Herrera, Cardio 13.